Hello everybody! Welcome back to Dixon Arcade. I'm Alex. He's Alex. I'm Sam. And we're playing Heart Gold solo run with bug types. Because, I don't know. Uh, because you chose us to. Anyway, we've been talking about ASMR. ASMR is when you make sounds in a microphone and people just listen to you. Oh yeah. The best yeah. YouTube channels. Yep. And uh, it's... More like this. No, that's scratching the mic. But, no, no. It's like, take, put your beard up there, oh, yeah, and just scratch, scratch your beard. beard. Beard scratching. And people like that for some reason? Um, something stupid, I guess. Earl will show you his Pokemon. Um, I don't know about Earl showing me anything. Earl doesn't sound like a good name. Earl sounds like a pedophile's name. Yes, he He's probably going to show me his, um... What's Pokemon with the penis? His, his Dunsparce. He's going to show me his Dunsparce. Hey, can I get... Penis. Can I get... No, you can't. Dunsparce is your penis? I guess, kind of. These guys' heads are their penises. It's because they're Buddhists. The Buddhist monks? Weird. What, what's this? A paralyzed heel? A paralyzed heel. That okay. was our, uh, that was our computer saying it's hot. In Topeka? In Topeka. <laughs> it's hot. In Topeka. Pika, 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 Pikachu. Thank you. Yeah, what a fucker. Thank you, Alex. It's Sage Chow. It's Bullsprit. Go Butterbutt. He's like, Bop. He goes tackle, and Bullsprit gets hurt. And do a vine whip. Alex, thank you for the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> can we talk about something interesting, please? Your shorts are black. Why? Because they're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> I don't ask, ask you, you about the color of your shorts. I asked you why they're black, not why you're wearing them. Because they're comfy and easy to wear. That was bad. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Well, what the, you say or Alex, thing? I send up my blue eyes white dragon. I uh by digivolving him from uh from uh Kribo. Oh, that makes no sense. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. So, um, what would you do for a Klondike bar, Sam? You know, Brad asked me that question like an hour ago, and I was like. Nothing, because Klondike bars aren't that good. Oh fuck! It's literally just ice cream covered in chocolate. Hashtag chocolate ice cream. I mean, you gotta specify what kind of Klondike bar we talk about here. Are we talking about classic vanilla, or are we talking about like cookie dough? Because they poison. Got yeah. I don't think I would want a poison Klondike bar. And I don't think I would do anything for money, but in fact, I would actively try not to get one. <laughs> You get there, Alex? No, I'm dying. Um, I think we should talk about... Dance birds? Dance birds. No. I'm pretty sure people will sit here and defend Gen 5. So, I'm going to give you the reasons. Well, they're probably going to sit last episode and defend Gen 5, because that's when we talked about it. Exactly. But... There are multiple reasons why I do not like. I do not. Do not. You don't it? I don't like Gen 5 for many reasons. And, like, I'll give you this. I'm not going to talk about how the designs are bad. Because that's not a reason to hate a generation. Because I can tell you one thing um, Muck and Grimer. There's Rats has and Voltorb and Electro. Again, Voltorb I do not care if they have meant a specific as... purpose. So does Amoongus and Fungus. Well, and they, they're just recreative designs on, the, on repurposing the old thing. Exactly. And they're also Gen 5. Exactly. But they're repurposing the same thing because guess what? Gen 5 was meant to repurpose the entire series. But I still hate the design. They can, they can have a purpose. To trick me into getting into a battle when I'm already in a place where the battles occur naturally. That's great. I still hate them. So. 
Each gen has their own stupid design in Pokemon. So Garbodor can be a stupid design Pokemon, but that doesn't make it bad. No, well, the thing in Garbodor, and I was discussing this with Brad the other night, is that uh, he isn't a bad design, he's overly designed. He's over designed. If he didn't have gross trash ears, like Trubbish, Trubbish is fine for me. I like yes. Trubbish. But if he didn't have gross trash ears, and if he didn't have freaking gas pump arms, yeah. uh, then he wouldn't be too bad if he was just a pile of, you know, trash. Maybe, and maybe make him let, let look less, I don't know, like rot and more like general trash. Like maybe like cans and bottles and shit instead of a pile of. Your butter butt died. Yeah, I saw that. Instead of like a pile of gunk. And the same can be said for the legendaries. They have fucking jet engines on their asses. That's I mean, pretty I overly mean, designed. They could they could have been lazy like they did with uh, Mega Mega Latias and Latias, just making this look exactly the same. They're the same with problem. jet engine arms. Jet engine arms. Why, and my God, why even bother making it to Pokemon? The, the plot was. I don't even know the plot of Gen Five. I See, the, that's the thing, though. Gen five had the best story, even though, but we did, but we hated everything else about it so much that we didn't even see it, because it was it was all about the whole ethical dilemma of why are we fighting the Pokemon? Yeah. You know what the worst team was? Team player. Stupidest fucking team. Uh, team player was definitely felt lazily designed. But anyway, back to Gen five. Um. Oh. Gen 5's plot was pretty fucking good. But it's just that it felt like they tried a little too hard on the Pokemon to try and do everything like Gen 1 did. Uh huh. And I mean failed this way. Just cause there are some really good designed Pokemon in there, like fucking what was that dragon? The pseudo dragon they have in the other generation. Oh, um The pseudo dragon or the dragon? The pseudo dragon, the one that I mean, the pseudo legendary. Okay, uh, Dino, uh, Zuelios, and Hydrogen. Yeah, no, that thing looks fucking amazing. What is it, Dark Dragon? Yes. Fucking awesome looking. People are hoping for a Mega Four. Um, that'd be, that'd be fine if they had both. There are heads. too many legendaries. Now, Gen Four had the most legendaries of all. Gen the Four started the bullshit amount of legendaries, but Gen Five was like, let's even gen even more legendaries. <laughs> There were three, no, no, four trios in, well, not three. Well, I mean, you can guess you can make the legendary as their own. There are, like, three or four trios. There's the bulls, there's the main legendaries themselves, and there's then there's... the weather ones, like the, uh, Thunderous, yeah, Landorus, th yeah. and the other ones. Like, your rival was just dumb. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, N was his own character. The name N was just kind of stupid. I mean, they carried that on with AZ. Well, let me tell you how creative AZ is. The best. I mean, he's got he's got a complicated past and everything, but I mean, you could have given him like a better name, or maybe maybe that's like his code name. He doesn't want to use his actual name anymore. And now that I think of it, Gen 5 might not have been too bad if it wasn't at the time that I kind of fell out of Pokemon and came back to Gen 6. Yeah. Well, that might just be me nitpicking about Gen 5. It, it seems pretty good now that I look back at it. It's like... I'll, I especially like the Electric Gen. I really like Ride a Roller Coaster. Awesome. Yeah, I think that was only part two. Yeah, I think so. And two. Mm -hmm. Should I go back and heal better, better? Should I keep Probably. going? Probably. I also didn't like the whole fact of that uh, radar thing. Every time you opened the game, it told you about some sort of thing you had to start up. And it's like, I don't want to start up the thing. Shut up. Go away. I forgot what it's called. But it came up every time you opened the game. 
It's like, I don't want to care about it. And you're making me care about it. I don't want to. See, that, that reminds me, I don't know if this is off topic, but the, it probably is. But uh, that reminds me of how, you know, they have the they have Poke Gear in this one, they have Poke Etch, and then they have, like, some other thing in, like, Gen 6 or whatever. But, you know, the whole concept of the phones thing doesn't really feel right, since you're a silent protagonist. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, they're like, hey, what up, here's, we're all gonna talk to you, but you're not gonna say anything in your input, in your input at all. Because you're silent. You literally can't say anything. That needs to change, I think. Well, you want... I, I, I don't know if people would like not having some protagonists in one. I don't know. I just think that... I think they should... Text make, choices? Yeah. Like, put some text choices in there or something. Other than yes, no? <laughs> it's like... I honestly think... But hey, in, the, in that graphic, I just noticed that there's a grass hat of raptors. Yeah. But, um... Like, if you're going up and, like, some dude's like, Hey, yo, you want to stop the team whatever the fuck from doing whatever the hell? And you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> and just kind of sit there and say yes or no. And it's like, okay, bye. Man, that reminds me of uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon. Twitch Plays Pokemon, uh, he, or whoever, the main, main guy behind it, sees Pokemon not as a story thing, he sees it as it should be like a sport. Like an eSport. And I get what he's talking about, but, you know, part of the fun is the casual experience of doing, of being something special, of like doing, accomplishing something as a character, other than beating the chance, you know, beating the end, so, because, and collecting Pokemon, of course. Mm -hmm. you gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Gotta catch a mall. So that we gotta, we will be hard to the mall. Um, so uh, Butterbot's going to evolve next level. So that's exciting. He's gonna evolve next time game. Takes an arcade. Oh yeah, we're totally game grumps now. Thank, thank you. Nope. Thank you for appreciating that out. Okay, we edited that out. Uh, next time on Takes an arcade, uh, we're gonna see Butterbot evolve into Butterbot. Uh, Supreme. Also, there's a bunch of bald guys here, and I'm gonna destroy them next with... time. I'm... With my butt. <laughs> my butt of butter. Yes. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of that shit. We'll see you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. Hey. Uh...